hey guys what's up <coughs> so in this file we will look at how do you read the contents of other files in your ruby file so you're working in one file and you want to read some other file then how do you do that so basically where would you need this kind of requirement so you have a file full of thousands of lines of code and you want to separate out that code in different lines in different files okay among different files so what you will do is that you will write hundred lines of code in one file, 100 lines of code in another file and then you will just read those files. So that way your code will be more organized. Where do we use this in day-to-day -day practice? Suppose you are working with a class. So it's a very good practice to write all that class level or class related implementation in one file and if during a project you have to work on that class just read that file which has all the implementation details for that class just read that and then use that so that way your code will be more organized class level definitions are in one file for some particular class and some for other particular class that will be in another file then for the modules one module is in one file another module is in another file that is a very good way of organizing your code so in this file we will look at how do you separate out your code among different files Okay, so first what we will do is that first we will write a file main.rv and here we will define the class itself and then we will work on that class also and later on we will just separate out the logic of the definition of the class in one file and we will work on that class in this file. So with our example it will be clear. So I'm going to define this class. So class hello. Hello is the name of my class and here I'm going to define one instance method so for instance method I don't have to write hello uh, self so the name of my instance method is say underscore hello and what it does is that it just prints hello then end then end now I'm going to call this instance method to call this instance method I will have to create an instance of hello class so this is the way I will create the instance and this is the way I'm going to call the instance method say underscore hello on the instance. So I'm going to run this file and this is the um, thing that this file prints on running because I am just calling the instance level method say underscore hello which is supposed to print hello. Now what I want to do is that this class definition hello I want to put it in a class in a file called hello.rb so that anywhere I have to work on hello class or anywhere I have to work on the instances of hello class I'll just read this file and then work on that so how do I do that how do I separate out this particular lines of code in one file and then read that file so what we have to do for that is like I'll just delete all these lines put them in other file so that I'll be able to separate out the code okay so I'm just going to put this in hello.rb okay so here, now if I run this file main.rb it will give me error because it doesn't know who is hello because we are simply calling hello.new.say underscore hello so this file needs to know about the def about this class hello about all the methods that this class defines so how do we do that to do that there is a simple thing in ruby require underscore relative so require underscore relative what it does it does that it will take a file path as its argument and it will read the content of that file okay so here we will give it hello.rb now one thing to notice here as it is obvious from relative word here that this file starts looking for this file path relative to the current directory since hello.rb is in the same directory in which main.rb is so we need not give anything like directory level structure like okay go to this directory then this directory since this is in the same directory we just need to write the name of the file so here I have written only hello.rb and require underscore relative will be able to get this file because it will start from the current directory itself okay so now writing require underscore relative hello.rb is equivalent to writing the content of hello.rb here okay so this way 
now this way we are able to separate out the code part we have written hello.rb somewhere else we have written all the logic there in hello.rb and now here we are writing just require underscore relative now require underscore relative name of the file is equivalent to writing the whole content of the file here in this file itself so now if i am going to save this file and then run this file then it will not give me error because this line will make sure that my current file reads whatever is written in hello.rb okay and after that when i'll say hello.new. say underscore hello it will be aware of who the hello is it will be aware of the definition of the hello class so i'm exiting this and i'm just running main.rb and there is no error so i have been successfully um, able to segregate the content of the file main.rb into two files okay and read the content of hello.rb into the file main.rb so that was all for this video see you guys in the next